today it's Christmas before Christmas. I've ordered some um, material and some parts that are going to be uh, useful for the transat. So let's uh, unpack this and get to work. So here you go, inside there I have some uh, jerry cans. These I'll need uh, for the transat. I already have a few for the pre-races I've done, but obviously the race being longer, I need uh, more water storage. So here it is. And I also have some uh, material, uh, so epoxy, fiberglass and epoxy. Like that, because I'll be uh, doing some fiberglass projects soon. Alors le chantier suivant, c'est le chantier suivant, c'est les panneaux solaires. Um... Well, in this video, I'm speaking sometimes uh, in English, sometimes in French. It's a bit all over the place. Uh, you can turn on the subtitles in that corner there. It's the CC button and then you go onto the small wheel looking like button and then you choose English or French uh, depending on what uh, language you speak. And that's it. Enjoy the video. Du coup, panneaux solaires, il vous faut des panneaux solaires. Tada Alors ça, attention, c'est du panneau solaire de compète. Parce que, pour choisir des panneaux solaires, en fait... Donc, ces panneaux solaires, ils sont... Tout doux euh, Non, ils, en fait, ce qui est cool avec ceux-là, c'est que... Euh, ils ont une euh, tension euh, très importante. Ils sont à 26 points quelque chose. So no, sorry, uh, I had my numbers wrong. When you choose a solar panel, uh, you're going to look at uh, different things. First, the nominal power, of course, how much uh, what they're gonna produce, the more the better. Then you're gonna look at uh, how much amps they produce. These, in, in that case, are quite good. They're at six amps, so that's that's really a good average. Then, of course, you're gonna choose if you want like flexible modules or, or not. This depends a bit on your constraints, more um, in terms of where you're going to put them. If either it's on a bimini or on a notch at the back of the boat, that's up to you. And then uh, you need to look at something that is, I think, really often disregarded is the open circuit voltage, which is UOC, I think. And that open circuit voltage is uh, what the solar panel produces when uh, nothing is plugged. And uh, basically anything above 22.5 is going to be really good. Um, try avoid things that are below 20. And um, yeah, better if it's uh, above 23. These in that case are 23.5, which is really good. And it's basically how much range your solar panel will have in terms of charge, when it will be charging and when not. En fait, le panneau il va marcher que quand il y a le soleil qui tape directement euh, dessus euh, à 90 degrés. Plus la tension est élevée, plus en fait le panneau va commencer à charger tôt. Et c'est ça qu'on recherche euh, sur euh, sur des panneaux solaires marins. Donc voilà. Ces euh, panneaux, je viens de les recevoir, ils sont tout neufs et je vais fabriquer un euh, support de panneaux solaires et je vais vous montrer comment on fait en vidéo. Alors c'est parti Le premier ingrédient dont vous avez besoin, c'est euh, des plaques de mousse comme ça. You find this in your local uh, shipyard, it's probably PVC extruded, whatever. 10 millimeters is good, density, anything about seven, above 70 is fine. This is what basically is, made, is used in the construction of any modern performance boat. You have this and what gives it the rigidity is um, the fiberglass, the sandwich fiberglass on top and above. If you want to go bigger, no problem, the weight won't change so much. So I'll just get the measurement of this. It's 54 per 119. I'll just cut this exact size onto this one. And then uh, I'll do two of them because there is two solar panels. And then I carry on with the build. Okay, first step to prepare the glassing is now that I have my foam pad, this is going to be the pad for the panel. See, this is really light. I don't have a weight, but that's probably 
around three or four hundred grams. I have my pad ready. I'm going to uh, cut the uh, fabric to the right size. These uh, three I already cut it. The idea is just uh, I need four of them because one on each side sandwich both um, both the foam pads. And well, at the moment I received these from SVB. They're actually almost the right size. It can also happen that it comes if you order more uh, quantity. It can come in a, in a roll or something. But anyway, it's just the same. Just lay it onto your panel. There you go. So you want to maybe keep one centimeter, maybe around, so it's it's easier to trim it after afterwards rather than missing a centimeter or so. Also, little disclaimer, uh, by no means I'm a professional of fiberglass and fiberglassing. Um, if you're a professional of these, there is probably many things I'm not doing right, so no need to come and say like, oh, you did not do this right or right or this or that. I'm not a professional. This is just, I know it works. And so if you're not a professional and you're looking to replicate this, it will probably work. It's probably not the most lightweight and the most blah, blah, blah. But does it work so if you find this useful really good if not all right so i have my four um, layers of fiber ready i have my two foam pads ready i'm going to do all of them at the same time uh, which implies cleaning these and actually putting a layer of uh, plastic on this and I'm just going to press everything together to be much easier So let's go Okay, I think I have everything ready. I've also cut some um, pieces of uh, plastic to put in between the pads. I'm going to mix some resin and go for it so now i have 300 grams i have something in between three and four uh, square meter so of 300 grams that's almost um almost one liter of uh of resin so what i'm going to do is probably do a first time like 300 and uh and go for it i'm using one of these If someone knows how to read this. Okay, I think I understood that. Five to one, A until here, B until here. So let's go. So here I have started to um, put some resin onto the clothes. One thing I forgot to do is to pre-impregnate as well the um, foam pad. So here I go. I'll just put a little bit, flip it and then should be fine.
So now the sandwich is done, I'm going to put a piece of plywood and some weights and then wait it for, for it to cure and that's it. En fait, euh, bah, les croutis est assez rapide, donc là ça a l'air euh, d'être bon pour les panneaux, je vais les démouler gentiment. So, see how this is much more rigid than before. Before I could break it by hand. Now pretty strong and will be even stronger when uh, the solar panel is glued on top. Now the plan is to do a reinforcement to put a bolt in the middle. That's the plan. Okay so now I mark the center. The idea is the idea is that this is going to be the bolt in the middle. Um, I'm going to drill a much bigger hole. This is about 2.5 centimeters, something like this. So I can put resin uh, and put it around. So because the inside of the foam is not strong, the idea is to create a strong bond around the screw. Here we go, we have holes both in the center and you can see how the sandwich is made foam with a layer of fiber on each side. Here I'll have my bolt going through on the other side. This would be the part where the panel will be glued. I'm going to have this bolt flush here and in order to spread the efforts of this bolt being right under here, I'm going to have this piece of fiberglass here, 300 about 20 per 20 uh, square and in order to stick this properly I'm going to prepare the surface just roughen up a little bit so now what I'm going to do is put this into place here and then flip the panel uh, so I make sure that I have some plastic onto the other side and this will be the bottom Now I have my piece of fabric on the other side like this. I'm going to have another one on this side, but also to spread the effort, I made this little round thing. I'm going to drill through it. I have a reinforcement with epoxy with a filler as well. So there you go. The bolt is protected, so I make sure I don't put uh, epoxy onto the thread, otherwise it would be a pain in the neck then to paint and have the diabolo going on top. So there you go, you have a hole, and they're gonna fit like this. I'm going to put it around it. So now I'm going to be doing a little bit of epoxy with filler in order to put the bolt in here stuck. So now I just finished to top up 
the hole around the, around the bolt. And now that the bolt is ready and the reinforcement has been done, the final thing is to put the layer, the last layer, onto this. Just do a little hole in the middle. To make the hole, you just need you know, to put the fibers a little bit aside. All right, so it's so this has been curing overnight. Now just left to remove this. Okay, so so this is done. Now I'm going to trim the edges, and we'll be ready to stick the solar panel on top. Maybe I need a change of strategy. Et voilà, les panneaux sont tout beau, tout propre, tout euh, tout fait. Donc maintenant, ça va être. Euh, la dernière étape, juste de euh, le coller. Donc, le Sika, alors celui-là, je sais pas exactement, mais c'est à peu près 70 kg par centimètre carré. Je sais pas si vous vous rendez compte de 70 kg par centimètre carré, ce que ça fait. C'est très, 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 très costaud. Du coup, pas besoin de trop s'énerver quand même sur le Sika. Faut en mettre assez, mais quand même pas, euh, pas trop s'énerver. C'est parti. Je vais mettre ça comme ça. Donc voilà, mon Sika est mis. Quand on met le Sika, il faut essayer de ne pas faire des... un rond par exemple ou un carré parce que du coup ça renferme de l'air dedans et, euh, et du coup ça pousse le Sika sur les côtés. Donc que des trucs où, euh, où c'est ouvert, où l'air peut s'échapper sur les côtés des cordons de Sika. Et maintenant, pour arriver à ne pas se rater. Ça va, moustache Ouais. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses Vas-y, tu m'aides à le centrer À la limite Putain, j'arrive pile à l'heure quoi. Ouais. ouais. Euh, bah, je décale un peu vers moi là. Là, j'ai 0,5. Ouais, bah, j'ai 0,5 aussi. Il devrait y avoir 0,5 en latéral aussi à peu près. De chaque côté Ouais. Bon bah voilà, le Sika a dû sécher, il manque encore quelques heures pour être complètement sec, mais on n'est pas loin. Il manque la touche finale, tac Le petit Diabolo qui va bien. Hop Pour l'instant, je fixe la main comme ça, ensuite je mettrai juste un petit peu de frein filet pour être sûr qu'il ne se décolle pas. Et, euh, et voilà The, What I call Diabolo is this, it's um, windsurf flexible connection. This is just a 8 mm bolt that you can plug onto anything. So on the Mini, for example, it's a carbon pole with an 8 mm um, nut inside. And that's it, you just screw it into it. But then whatever your boat is, whatever you want to put it on, you just need an 8 mm bolt to mount this flexible mount. As simple as that. Et maintenant, je vais enlever tous les bois. Et voilà, un beau support de panneau solaire. Pac. Maintenant, il n'y a plus qu'à le visser dans euh, son support. Y ajouter des petits dinémas aux quatre coins pour qu'il qu s'oriente bien et le, et le mettre à l'orientation qu'on veut. Ok, so regarding the um, lines for the solar panel, there is uh, two kinds. There is those ones here um, that are holding the panels at the four uh, corners. 
and these ones you can use a three millimeter Dyneema you tie this to either the end of the solar panel or to a small Dyneema loop so the way I run uh, those lines is that it's attached here at the corner I have it uh, going all the way down to a loop here put it through the loop and then back up here but then instead of attaching it I use uh, the constrictor effect on those lines so I use one of these uh, needles no idea how they called you put it in there push it over maybe eight ten centimeters you put the end of your Dyneema in there and you pull it in all the way there we go to the other end now you don't need the needle anymore you just pull 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 and that's it basically it's now done as soon as there is tension in the these the more you pull the more the cover goes around what's now the core and it pulls in order to release it you push the core it opens you can adjust the others to the length the desired length and then and now you pull again and that's it super simple um, uh, process and way to do it uh, but super efficient and lightweight and then I have also this bungee at the two corner this is to avoid having the solar panel uh, moving too much basically these uh, mounts are lightweight and strong but what they won't like if uh, is too much like side uh, load and, and shocks so that's why you need to have your solar panel uh, properly holding uh, onto its base so yeah pretty much these bungees here at the corner and lines here super easy to set up et c'est fini donc voilà il y a l'autre aussi que je vais démouler tout de suite mais du coup la bonne nouvelle c'est que en fait ces panneaux ils sont pas pour moi euh, vous m'avez tellement parlé de euh, ces panneaux solaires que j'ai demandé à SVB et à Fison donc euh, l'entreprise qui fabrique ces panneaux solaires voilà eux euh, je leur ai demandé s'ils si ne pouvaient pas euh, me filer euh, un jeu de panneaux que je fabrique des supports et pour les offrir à euh, l'un d'entre vous donc à l'heure où euh, je parle tout de suite, je fais cette vidéo, je ne sais pas du tout comment on va organiser ça. Mais euh, d'ici là, je mettrai un lien par là ou peut-être dans la description de cette vidéo pour vous expliquer comment participer euh, au concours. Et puis bah, voilà, un de vous euh, récupérera euh, ses panneaux pour, euh, pour son bateau. Donc voilà, euh, merci donc à nos copains de SVB et euh, de Faison euh, qui ont joué le jeu et qui euh, vont du coup... Euh, vous permettre d'avoir ces super panneaux qui sont hyper franchement ils ont un rendement euh, de ouf et limite mieux que ce que j'ai à bord donc voilà un ou une chanceuse euh, aura peut-être euh, ces panneaux à mettre à son bord donc euh, bah, voilà allez voir les liens et puis euh, et puis bah on discutera avec celui qui gagne bonne chance <musique>